Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I want to do one last example with you just to keep you on your toes. Let's do a question that says determine the slope of the tangent to f of x equals root x minus 3. Um, so the slope of the tangent to f of x equals root at x equals, I don't know, how about um, 12? No, 12 minus 3. Yeah, 12 is nice. Add x equals 12. There you go. That's it. That's all it's going to say. There's your question. So this is what you'll have to do. You'll have to say, okay, well, determine the slope of the tangent. Well, the slope of the tangent is equal to the derivative, which is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. So x plus h minus f of x over h. That's the definition for the slope of the tangent. So in this particular example, so really what I'm starting with is this. Limit h approaches 0 of x plus h minus f of x over h. And in this particular example, we know that f of x is equal to root x minus 3. And we know that f of x plus h is going to be equal to root x plus h minus 3. So that's going to give me the limit as h approaches 0 of root x plus h minus 3 minus root x minus 3 over top of h. If you try to apply the limit here, we're going to get 0 for h, so it's x minus 3 square rooted, subtract x minus 3 square rooted, that's 0 over 0. That's indeterminate. So to get rid of the indeterminate, we're going to multiply by its conjugate. Here we go. Now, remember, the top is simply going to become this one squared, so it's x plus h minus 3, subtract x minus 3 over top of, now the bottom I do not expand. There's no point in expanding the bottom. The top is going to become minus x, so that's going to go, that's going to be plus 3, so I'm going to be left with limit as h approaches 0 of h over h, x plus h minus 3, x minus 3. And the h's are going to reduce, and then we're going to apply the limit. Ring, ding, 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 ding. h is going to go to 0, and we're going to end up with 1 over 2 root x minus 3. And that will give you the slope of the tangent anywhere for the curve. So this is the slope of the tangent to f of x anywhere. And we wanted it at a particular point. We wanted it when x equals 12. So it's going to equal 12 minus 3. So 9. So the slope of the tangent is going to be 1 over 6. And you're done. Now notice what we did here. We found the derivative anywhere, and then we put in our x equals 12. This question could have been done using the x equals 12 at the very beginning. What we would lose is the derivative anywhere, though, and we would only get our specific derivative. I'm going to show you how that would work. So if I'm going to do the slope of the tangent, it's going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. We know that. Now f of x in this case, remember we knew that x equals 12. So it's f of 12. So it's going to be 12 minus 3, which is root 9, which is 3. So f of 12 is actually 3. And f of x plus h is actually going to be f of 12 plus h, 
which would be 12 plus h minus 3, which would work out to 9 plus h. So when I go to plug these values in, what I'm going to get is the limit as h approaches 0 of the particular point 12 plus h minus f of 12 over h. Now remember, in this particular example, I'm only finding the slope of the tangent at x equals 12. That's why I'm putting in x equals 12. When I did it in the last example, we left it as x. So this is going to become the limit as h approaches 0. Now this is going to be 9 plus h square rooted, and this is going to be 3, and the bottom is going to be h. Now you'll notice if I apply the limit, h approaches 0, that goes to 0. Square root of 9 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, over 0, indeterminate. So to get rid of it, we're going to multiply by the um, conjugate. So what I'm going to end up with on the top is going to be 9 plus h minus 9 over top of h. Do not expand. It's 9 plus h plus 3. Then the 9's are going to take care of each other. Limit says h approaches 0 of h over h. 9 plus h plus 3. The h's reduce. Allowing the limit to start, ring, ding, 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 h goes to 0. We get root 9 is 3 plus 3. I get an answer of 1 over 6, which if we take a look what we had last time, we had 1 over 6. The difference is I do not have a function that will give me the slope of the tangent anywhere. All I did was figure out the slope of the tangent to f of x at x equals 12. So I don't have that function to go back into if I want to find the derivative at another point or the slope of the tangent at another point. Anyway, wrap your head around these videos and we'll come back together on Monday and we'll clarify a few things. But make sure that you've gone over these videos, you have an idea of what's going on, and then we will make sure that it all is workable for you at the end of Monday's lesson.